Julia Tyson, happy Monday. How was the first day back? Hey, Rev. Okay, good, 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 good. Good. Kathy and Scott, good to see you. Hey, Nikki. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of the cats had to have some work done today, and so she's uh, still on her pain meds. Uh, so she is stoned out of her little mind, sitting in a chair across from me, staring at me. Uh, and Nicole's being swallowed by the stove, so it's actually quite a little adventure here in the Dottama household. Jenny Fox. Hey, Shannon. Yeah, that's true. Nicole just pointed out that one of the other dogs had to have eye work done because Avatar pops her in the eye with his tail all the time. So <laughs> it's it's just uh <laughs> Oh, okay, what's going on at the emergency vet? What's going on, Shannon? Prayers for Tipsy. May it all work out smoothly. All right, well, let's go ahead and begin. We are on page 109, an order of worship for the evening. Bed, bed. Thank you. Page 109, light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp to put under a bucket, but on a lampstand where it gives light for everyone in the house. And you, like the lamp, must shed light among your fellow men so that they may see the good you do and give glory to your Father in heaven. Let us pray. 
Lord God Almighty, as you have taught us to call the evening, the morning, and the noonday one day, and have made the sun to know it's going down, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that by your brightness we may ever know you to be the true God and eternal light, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. On page 112 is the Phos Hilaron. Let us pray through that together. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life and to be glorified through all the worlds. <clears throat> Our psalm for today is the first part of Psalm 89, so that begins on page 713. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> Psalm 89, page 713, we'll be reading part 1, so that's verses 1 through 18. <clears throat> Please pray through this with me. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible to all those round about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? O mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea and still the surgings of its waves. You have crushed Rahab of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, the earth also is yours. You laid the foundations of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand, and high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might is exalted. Truly the Lord is our ruler. The Holy One of Israel is our King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> our second reading is from the Gospel of John. This is John chapter 14, verses 6 through 14. <clears throat> Pardon me. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do and, in fact, will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, 
so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. The word of the Lord. Hey, Mary, good to see you. Our canticle for this evening is on page 86. It is canticle 10. Hey, Sue. Hey, Amy, good to see you all. Page 86, canticle 10. The second song of Isaiah. When you get that far, uh, please pray through that with me together. Together with me. Sorry, adjusting the cat here. All right, page 86, Canticle 10. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my ways are not your, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> we continue on page 120 with the Apostles' Creed. Uh, once you get there, please join me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We continue with suffrages A. Please join me. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. O God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may share the divine life of him who humbled himself to share our humanity, your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. If you will, turn with me to page 820. Hey, Robert. Page 820, we're going to pray prayer 19, uh, as I talked about somewhat last evening, uh, in this time of transition where the media is doing its best to put us on edge and whip us up. Uh, I think some prayers just for our country and our leadership are in order as we go through this time together. So page 820, prayer 19, for the president and all in civil authority. When you get there, let us pray together. O 
Lord our governor, whose glory is in all the world, we commend this nation to your merciful care, that being guided by your providence, we may dwell secure in your peace. Grant to the President of the United States, the governor of this commonwealth, and to all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do your will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve this people in your fear. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. And then if you will, turn over a few pages to page 832, and we will pray prayer 60 together for protection. Assist us mercifully, O Lord, in these our supplications and prayers, and dispose the way of your servants toward the attainment of everlasting salvation, that among all the changes and chances of this mortal life, they may ever be defended by your gracious and ready help. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions, silently or aloud. and for Tipsy and for all that we hold dear in our hearts, um, for healing for those who are ill, for safety for all of us. I give you thanks for this day, for the sunshine, uh, and I ask that you would give us all peaceful sleep, the rest that we need, so that we can go about the work you called us to in the morning. Thank you for each person gathered here. Amen. Our final prayer is on page 113. Page 113, once you turn there, let us pray together. Page 113, we'll be praying the last prayer there at the bottom of the page, Almighty Everlasting God. Let us pray together. Almighty, everlasting God, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you, present in your word and sacraments, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame of that love which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the ages of ages. Amen. And on the next page, my friends, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you peace. Dear friends, let us go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Great to see you. Great to worship with you. As you know, 8 o'clock, Deacon Sue will be back to... to um, for Compline, so please join her uh, if you can, and I'll see you back here tomorrow at 6.30. Blessings, friends.